All right. So this guy is Northern Lights cross with skunk. And then this guy here is Kush cross with blueberry. That's the best looking one out of the bunch. It's nice and bushy. And then we have, this is just straight up skunk. All three of those strains are from um, Peak Seeds BC. It's a defunct company, it doesn't exist anymore. They went uh, professional, like legal in Canada now. So they sold out, if you will, I guess. Um, this is Northern Lights Cross with Skunk again here. And this is a uh, Kush Cross with uh, Blueberry. And then this little guy here is Kush Cross with Blueberry. This is a male. Um, this one is a female. The rest of them are females, except for these two little guys. This one is a male as well, and this is a male. All the males that I kept are all Kush Cross with Blueberry. So. Um, I'm going to leave the mail so that I get seeds from Kush Cross with Blueberry, crossing with all the other strains. So crossing with Skunk, um, self-crossing self with Kush Cross with Blueberry, Kush Blueberry, I guess, and um, Kush Blueberry cross with Northern Skunk. So, so yeah, I'm going to have Kush Blueberry Skunk, Kush Blueberry, and Kush Blueberry Northern Skunk. And yeah, that's uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. So yeah, everything is just starting to flower now. Um, yeah, I just uh, was able to figure out um, the sex of everything like a couple of days ago. Until a couple of days ago, um, I didn't know a couple of the, a couple of the plants. I didn't know if they were male or female, but. Uh, but yeah, the first thing to show sex was probably the Kush Blueberry, but uh, I don't recall exactly which was the first one. It doesn't matter. But yeah, the Kush uh, uh, Blueberry is actually the best looking plant out of the bunch at this point. It's just so bushy and so healthy looking. I love it. I topped them. Um, well, I did my version of topping. It's not really topping. It's called um, Fimming, F-I-M. It's called F I Mist stands for F I missed or fudge I missed um, so as you can see here uh, what happens is if you topped it normally topping it what would happen is uh, the middle guy would get this guy right there would get removed completely but since I just topped it what happens is or, I mean since I filmed it what happens is um, the middle one gets delayed and the the two side ones grow up and then uh, the middle one comes back and recovers so you end up with with three tops instead of just the two um, and how you do a an a fem how you fem it is uh when you go to top you top like normal but you don't take the whole top off you just um you you cut it like like there so you don't take off the whole top you just take off like 50 percent of it and uh you leave the the base of the node there so sometimes you luck out and it actually like does something weird and you get like five or six um tops coming out of it but uh but yeah um sometimes you you only get the you only top it like normal and you end up with two tops but um, I'm, once you get good at it, you can, the majority of the time you'll get three tops. Like you see this, I got three here. So see the center one and then I got the two here. And you see this one, this one, um, I might have messed this one up. This one might have just had the two. Yeah, I think this one, yeah, this one, uh, you can see the top happened right there. And uh, it's gone, so I've only got the two tops there. But this one, I've got the, the three tops on it. So one, two, three. And uh, these guys down here, these little guys, I didn't top them. Anyway, that's it for now. Just wanted to show show off my guys. Oh, wait, I'll show uh, over here. I'll show, show what's going on here. These are my... 
plants that I'm not keeping. So this is a northern lights crossed with skunk. This is a male here that I'm not keeping. I'm going to get rid of it. Um, this is a skunk um, male that I'm getting rid of here. You can see that's a male. And this is, uh, I'm not sure what strain this little guy is, but it's just so tiny. And I don't know what strain it is, so there's no point in keeping it because I don't want to have uh, genetics that I don't know what they are. No sense of keeping those around. So yeah, I'm actually, I'm not going to destroy these. I'm actually just going to throw them into a cornfield and uh, let them do their thing. Um, I might, uh, I'm probably going to have to get rid of um, at least one more of the females that's in the main garden. Because uh, legally you're only allowed to have four plants um, in a household. And so um, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've got double the number right now. But if you discount the fact that some of these are male, I've only actually got one, two, three females, and then um, four, five females. So actually, well, I'm not sure if this is, this one might be a male, it might be a female. I'm pretty sure it's a female, but um, I'm probably going to end up, if, if both of these are female, I'm going to have to get rid of one of them. So this one I'm probably going to take away and put it in a cornfield with the with the males. And then uh, I'll get some some seeds out of the cornfield. All right, so that's it for now. Thanks for, thanks for your playing, guys. See you later.